Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, so what you're looking at is uh, Heather's F750GS and uh, that's Matt and Casey working on it. Basically we're just having to uh, remove the Jesse box and the uh, top luggage rack uh, as well as the plastic luggage grid there so we can get to the full um, rear subframe pan to install everything up. Um, this is all kind of loctited, but you can understand it's kind of easy once you're in here. It's it's simple to get at it. So now you have all that fully exposed. Um, so this is a fuse box, and we're going to be installing it on her bike in order to run uh, three SAE ports out of it. One of which is going to be going over to a uh, Qi charger known as the Moto Power Puck or Moto Fast Puck, depending on uh, what Google search works for you. So there's the puck right here. It runs down underneath the fairing, uh, right there down. It comes out the bottom there. I'll take a closer look at it here in a second. Yeah, so you can see here we expose. So you have, it comes down, hits that little um, manager right there, rubber and metal, and runs down there. I end up zip tying it to the upper part of the frame, and then it runs behind the uh, fairing here and comes out right there and runs to that SAE port. So uh, we just stick that in and hook it up with the fuse blocks, basically. Um, and the way we configured it was we put it on a 3 amp fuse. Uh, and then the rest of the SAE's got a 5 amp fuse. So in this process we were trying to figure out, this is the rear brake light uh, coming from the Denali uh, CanSmart system, and we were trying to figure out what our trigger wire is going to be, because obviously the fuse blocks needs to only pass and power those devices when the bike is running. You don't want it sending power all the time because then your battery would die. So um, we kind of went through this phase of trying to figure out, geez, where, where the heck do we get a, um, our, uh, our trigger wire? And luckily we found it. This isn't documented anywhere, by the way. This is not documented. What I did was, you notice right here, what I did was um, on my GS, the trigger wire is coming out of this little fuse box right underneath the seat. And so we tried the same thing on this bike. We looked for the blue and red wire coming out of this little fuse panel. <laughs> same one on my GS. We tapped into it. And lo and behold, it worked. <laughs> Seriously. So thanks, BMW, for your consistency because that same wire is the one that you need for trigger wire on pretty much any sort of power module, including the fuse blocks. So you can see here we've got a 5 amp fuse. It, no, if, it's, if it's on the left hand side, that means it's switched. If it's on the right hand side, it's constant. Does that make sense? So um, you want to keep your fuses on the left hand side so they don't run down your battery. Uh, but you can move it over one if you want like a dash cam that runs all the time. Just know that you might run your battery down. Um, so the way we, we broke it down was uh, 3 amps goes to the Qi charger and then 5 amps each goes to the rest of the um, devices and worked out pretty well basically. And finally, here it is all going back together. So um, it's a little bit darker picture than I expected. But you've got um, three wires going out of the positive of the battery, one of which is going to the CanSmart, uh, one's going to the fuse blocks, and one's going to the external SAE that I use to charge the battery. I have an SAE just hanging down. So this kind of shows where the Qi charge is running. There's our SAE port right there. Why SAE? Because honestly, you know, you can cap it at 5 amps and just run anything off of it you want to. I've got SAE to USB converters um, that I'm going to be using to charge Heather's um, Anchor power packs. Uh, we've got dual USB ports back here, which I'll show in a second. And then, uh, of course, if she ever adds a heated seat from Sargent, that also powers off SAE. So, um, you know, the, the, the SAE connectors are just nice to have, honestly. So, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. And uh, I'll play this out with all the audio for the rest of the video. Do you mind if I modify it? Sure, go ahead. And then that runs back to, uh, basically, we've got a trigger wire, which is used right here is this red and blue one and then um all this wiring here is kind of nice and then you got a, a spare sae only one spare sae right matt yep spare sae here which we're gonna have two usb ports come out of this one well you've got your permanent one down here anyways that's right yeah so we've actually got three three total saes coming out of the fuse block uh one on a three amp fuse and one on a five amp fuse and then we've got one coming out of the battery uh, for charging the battery but that could easily power accessory if we wanted to just Word of caution, the reason why this is here is because if you are charging shit directly off the battery, you could come back to a dead battery after a few hours. So that's why we have this in place. So the trigger basically tells this to wake up and start sending power. Um, so after that, we're just going to get this luggage grid back on, Jesse racks back on, and uh, Heather's bike is ready to ride. 